Before I become the problem. Before I become the problem. May God handle my temperament. May God handle my temperament. Before I handle God's progress. Before I handle God's progress. As God to move me out of the way. As God to move me out of the way. So his will. So his will. May be done. May be done. If I do all these things. If I do all these things. Have the peace. I'll have the peace. And the joy. And the joy. God intended, God intended me to have. Me to have. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today will come from the New Testament, Gospel according to John. John chapter 14, verse 26. John chapter 14, verse 26. Amen. Amen. John 14 and 26 reads, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father was seen in my name, shall teach you all things yes. and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Uh -huh. May God bless his word. Amen. Yeah. I'd like to use for the subject for just a little while the great teacher. All right. The great teacher. Church God guides and directs us through his written word, yes. through the teaching of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yes. I'm going to try to make these understand because your body can't use meat that you can't chew. Oh, Come on now. That's hard to get the nourishment of the word, the nourishment from the word, mm -hmm. you must understand the word. Amen. First of all, the Holy Spirit is also referred to as the Holy Ghost. Yes. Somebody say amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the third in the Trinity. Yes. The Trinity is the belief that God is three separate persons. All right now. But still one God. Yes. Three persons in one God. Yes. The Father, mm -hmm. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The word Trinity comes from the word tri, right. which means three. Uh -huh. And the word unity, or I'm right, which means one. Uh -huh. right the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to break on me? The Holy Spirit is fully God. Uh -huh. yeah. But you understand that. It's just not something you can throw around. Mm -hmm. He is a person. Mm -hmm. He is real. Mm -hmm. He is alive because he is God. Yes. The Holy Spirit is fully God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he is everywhere that God is. Yes. And God is everywhere. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit has the will and that desire to carry out the will of God the Father. Yes, that's right. That's that should be the will of every Christian believer. Yes. Not your will. That's right. So we're going to work on our will. Mm -hmm. But that's not any good. God's will. God's will be done with you or without you. But I would rather, and God would too, that it be with you. Yes. No matter say amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit, He can speak. Let's make that perfectly clear. Yes. He can speak. Mm -hmm. He is alive and wait. Mm -hmm. yes. So if the Holy Spirit can speak, he can also guide. Right. Yeah. Yes. Just like God. Yes. The Holy Spirit is alive. Yes. So therefore, he can be all places at once, mm -hmm. just like God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now watch this. You're gonna like this. The Holy Spirit can breathe. Alright. Yes, sir. In other words, what I'm trying to say, you can hurt the Holy Spirit's heart. Uh -huh. 
Because the Holy Spirit can't tell you to do one thing. Yes. You decide, I'm being bad. Uh-huh. But well, it's not because you're being bad, it's out of ignorance. Right. Yes, that you do your own will. Yes, right. to jump. It's, not, it's not because you're being bad. Nobody's telling you. And God is sure not telling you. So it's because of ignorance mm-hmm. to the Word of God. Yes. The Holy Spirit can't read. Mm-hmm. So therefore, He feels sorrow mm-hmm. when we know His guidance. Yes. Just like God. Yes. So I'm going to believe this, but we receive the Holy Spirit the moment we truthfully accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Yes. It's no big secret to it. Mm-hmm. And through the obedience of baptism, and the obedience of accepting God's commandments. Mm-hmm. These are the stipulations. In other words, at the moment that His Holy Spirit began to guide you, brothers and sisters, every one of us must receive the Holy Spirit in order to enter the kingdom of God. No other way. Apostle Paul teaches it clearly. We receive the Holy Spirit the moment we receive Jesus Christ. Yes. As our Lord is saying. Yes. Some folks acknowledge that Jesus is real, mm-hmm. but they don't accept him as their Lord and Savior. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just accept him and say, Yeah, he's real. Yeah. And sing that song. Yes, Lord. Oh, uh, right. yes. God is real. Yes. That's just a song. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. You got to believe it in your heart and in your soul and in your yes. spirit. Yes. That's when he starts to teach us. Uh-huh. And guide us. Yes. Baby, we all need guidance. Yes, we do. Some of us think we know everything. All right. But we all need guidance. If we did, we would need the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's why right. would God send the Holy Spirit? We didn't need guidance. That's right. Jesus said, When I leave, mm-hmm. my father will send you a comforter. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Yeah. Roman 89 tells us this yeah. that if a person does not Possess the Holy Spirit, he or she does not belong to Christ. All right. That's it. That's it. Simple. Just that simple. Just that simple. John 3 and 5, Jesus said, Unless one is born of water mm-hmm. and the Spirit, mm-hmm. he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Yes. Can you get baptized and not receive the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's it. Sure. Have there today. What mindset did you have when you go under the water? Uh-huh. And then what mindset do you have that is shame when you come up out of the water? That's right. That's it. That's it. That's, That's going to be the difference. That's it. Mm-hmm. If you go under one way and come up the same way, mm-hmm. you got to wait for nothing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not being ugly. Mm-hmm. You got to wait for nothing. Mm-hmm. You mess up your hair for nothing. Oh, Right now. Right now. <laughs> I, Lord, I put on the weight for nothing, so surely. Lord, have mercy. Don't let it be in vain. Mm-hmm. Baptism is a out showing of an inward weight. Mm-hmm. That means something on the inside has changed. Yes. The outside got washed, but the inside got clean. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. I'm not giving you to clean you. Uh-huh. You do that for your home with soap and water. Right. But I'm dipping, Lord help you today. I'm dipping you to clean you on the inside. Right. And when you come up, come on. Yeah. Something is different. Yeah. Yeah. Lord help you today. God's spirit can't dwell in unclean temples. You can't still drink. Somebody ain't gonna like it. And smoke. And curse and lie. And it's better to have the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Not going to go in an unclean place. Church, the path that received the Holy Spirit is to exercise faith in Christ unto repentance. Mm-hmm. Only then will you recognize that something, you talking about something, told me. Mm-hmm. What is that something? Until you receive the Holy Spirit, you recognize that something can't talk. The Holy Spirit Come speaks on, to you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about I feel yeah. If you don't have a Holy Spirit, you ain't feel nothing. All right. You, okay, you still feel like what you are, a fool. Right I'm sorry. Pastor called me a fool, no, I didn't. The Bible called you a fool. Oh. Lord, 
talked at me today. 1 Corinthians 12 and 13 says this. For by one spirit we are baptized into one body. The body of Jesus Christ. Whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, we have been all made to drink into one spirit. That's it. Right now. One. I ain't talking about Mad Dog 2020. Oh, right now. <laughs> oh, have mercy. <laughs> Bible walks in Mad Dog 2020. I ain't talking about that. Right. That's a different spirit. Uh -huh. That's the spirit you got to trip from it to get back. In the first place. I thought I tripped the spirit will get you out. No trouble. Oh, that man. And salvation. The Holy Spirit baptizes the believing sinner into the body of Christ. The born again experience. That's what I'm talking about. No matter what your condition or who you think you are or how bad you think you may be, it doesn't matter as long as you go through Jesus Christ to get to the kingdom of God. No other way it works. Now, let's find out what the Holy Spirit actually does mm -hmm. and why he needs, why we need him. All right. The Holy Spirit leads. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romans 8 reads, For as many are led, yeah. I told you, uh -huh. by the Spirit of God, yes. they are the sons of God. Uh -huh. All right. Plain. <laughs> Verse 16, mm -hmm. just proves the point. It reads, The Spirit itself Bearing witness yes. with our spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. I didn't say your spirit is going to die. Mm -hmm. They work together. Uh -huh. yeah. That we are the children of God. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit himself is constantly speaking and witnessing certain things to us mm -hmm. so that we can now enjoy all the privileges of a child of God. Yes. Are you tired of living miserable? Mm -hmm. Living without? Yes. Broke, bent, can't be trusted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen the Holy Spirit yet. Oh, John 14, 26 says this. The Holy Spirit teaches in John 26. It says simply this. But the Comforter, mm -hmm. which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said before I live. Now, if Jesus is simply saying, if you don't remember everything I said, the Holy Spirit will remind you uh, of some more things and those things. Yes. They all gonna come to pass. Yes. Jesus came in person, in human form, mm -hmm. to teach us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit sent by God in Jesus' name to teach us and remind us of what Jesus had said. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Then the same word. Brought into a different way in the person of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. We were taught in human form by Jesus, mm -hmm. in spirit form by the Holy Spirit. Now, God has good intentions. Mm -hmm. yes. But are we listening? All right. If we're listening, we ought to obey the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Jesus walks in soft. It ain't loud like mine. Right. It's soft like the wind. In order to hear him, you gotta close your mouth yeah. and open your heart. Right. Yes, 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 In order to hear him, you gotta close your mouth. That's the hard part. Uh -huh. And open your heart. Yes, right. I said the voice is soft as the wind. Uh -huh. You're not gonna scream uh -huh. at you. You know why? When people scream at you, they make you nervous. Yes, they do. Lord have mercy. Yes, they do. He wants you to be calm mm -hmm. so you don't make any more mistakes. All right. When you're nervous, you make mistakes. Yes, that's true. Back face. Yes. You make mistakes then. Yes. You open your mouth quick. Yes. Without thinking. Yes. And all the tongue starts flapping, yes. stuff starts coming out that you can't take back. Yes. If I want it out, it's out. It's out. It's okay. out. Once it's out, it's out. Yeah. Now, in order to hear the guidance of the Holy Spirit, like I said, close your mouth and open your heart. Yes. Hold it on. On 
only keeps messing. Keep going out. Oh, Israel. Wow. You ever know folks in your church that I'm going all in? Can you see my face? Uh, <laughs> well, that's why. Oh, wow. They don't want nothing new in. Uh -huh. They say, I'm all right, so I don't want this mess out. I'm going to keep it. Oh. I can't with it, I'm going to leave with it. Nothing is saying. Lord have mercy. We expect God's guidance to pierce through a mountain of negativity. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen. Wow. Not going to happen. When you feel negative, God can't reach your heart. So don't say God not talking to me. Yes, he is. He's trying. You're not listening. Yes, right. Because you're simply lost. The connection with God through negativity. Galatians 5, 22 and 23 says this. The Holy Spirit molds character. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy. Yeah. Peace, yeah. long suffering, uh -huh. gentleness, uh -huh. goodness, uh -huh. faith, uh -huh. meekness, yes. temperance. Yes. Against yes. such, there is no law. No now, take notice that fruit has no S on it. It's fruit. Yes. Just no S, not fruits. Fruit yes. is the reason for that. Yeah. They ought to be looked at as one. As one whole, which means they grow equally. Oh, wow. You've seen how apple trees grow different from big trees? Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not the same. They're not, they're not one. Mm -hmm. The fruit is one, it grows equally. Yeah. Now, you can't tell me. Oh, I, I don't have a problem with joy. Hmm. I don't have a problem with peace, but I'm struggling. With gentleness. I'm struggling with meekness. Baby, I'm sorry to tell you, you still in trouble. I just told you, fruit. I just had fruit. Because I've had fruit that you can drop. Joy. And still be mild and meek. But you have to have all of them together because they grow in one. They make you whole. I don't want to be no half a man. I don't want to be a whole man. Verse 24 says this, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with affection and lust. If we live in spirit, let us also walk in spirit. That's it for me. You got to walk what you talk. Tell me on Sunday morning talking about this and that. And, oh, God is so good and all that. Then you leave. Before you got a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Playing drop it like it's hot. All Still right. on the parking lot. All right. Lord, yeah. 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 oh, I'll help you today. I'm feeling pretty good now. All right, good. Oh, yeah. Now, having given you the fruit of the Spirit, remember this. Nothing negative comes from God. That's coming from you. True. God won't say slap somebody. You may want to. But God ain't gonna tell you to. He said things in mind. That's right. What the Lord said. He won't tell you to tell somebody off. I don't care if it's pastor. He wrote me wrong, I'll tell him off. Oh well, you better be killed by pastor. Well, I'm leave that alone. <laughs> All right, Pastor. He won't say set trap for somebody. Mm -hmm. He won't say dig holes. That's right. If you dig holes for so somebody else, you better have to long on. Yeah. So you can put the dirt back over yourself. Yeah. Because you don't want to be in the hole. Yeah. You might teach me, baby. Yeah, on now. Teach it. You can't just talk to talk and not walk to walk. That's, That's right. right. That's right. He'll say, be quiet. And be still, my child. Amen. People will naturally reap what they saw. Amen. Take no thought about those who wrong you. Yeah. That's what that means. That's it. But I remember when, I don't care what he said to your mom. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a human God. Right. Yeah. Pastor, you know what I'm saying? Back in 1933, he, he told my mom. I'm not being ugly, but mama gone. Oh, y'all talk to me now. Yeah. She went on to heaven. You go to hell. She worked with that stuff. He said to mama. Mama forgave him and went to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. He walked across my yard uh-huh. on my grass, Shirley. <laughs> we just got to discuss the grass this week. But let me tell you something. All he did was help you not have to mow the grass. Yeah. Somebody help me. <laughs> Forgive me, the grass grew back 20 times or 20 years ago when you walk across my yard. Yeah. But every time I see it, I just think about it. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That means that. <laughs> when you need both of them underneath you, you care and worries. That's why they do this. <coughs> they weigh you down. Uh-huh. They weigh you down. The Holy Spirit goes to God on your behalf. Yes. God takes no pleasure in seeing you in pain. Mm-hmm. Now the Holy Spirit will make you close your lips once again mm-hmm. and feel like speaking your mind. He's going to close that mouth for you. He's going to take them lips and, oh, y'all ain't talking to me, yeah. and clap them yeah. and squeeze them. Yeah. Mom said, I'll squeeze the juice out there with for <laughs> Don't make God do your lips like that. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will turn angry words into kind words. That's all I'm saying. We'll turn angry words into kind words. You open your mouth and we'll curse about it. Next thing you're saying, bless you. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way the Holy Spirit works. I told you about this story before. When I started call myself, Sister Shirley, trying to curse. Mm-hmm. I ain't never liked it in my life. But me and Corey and Max, your mom and mine, was having a conversation, me and her. And I accidentally mm-hmm. let one out. Mm-hmm. She never said a word. Mm-hmm. But I knew she heard it. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, she heard you. To this day, that's still Makes me cry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I know she heard me. Mm-hmm. But she loved me so much, she never said, boy, she never said nothing. Mm-hmm. With the same every God, just because he don't say anything, mm-hmm. he heard you. He heard you. Our words of things you say without thinking, uh-huh. because they come from an out of mind. I feel like preaching. Come on, yeah. Come on now. Man, man, is set on autopilot. Yeah. Yes, yes. We're full of automatic responses. Yes. Mm-hmm. Baby, that's just the way I talk. Mm-hmm. That ain't no answer. <laughs> that ain't nothing to be bragging about. No. I'll just tell a fool off. No, you're not telling me. It's the fool trying to tell somebody off. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to help somebody today. We are full of automatic responses. Watch this. Like jokes mm-hmm. and jabs. Am I talking to somebody? All right. The response we give to people. Yes. Anytime we see them. You think somebody will hear the same joke every time we see them? No, 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 They don't think it's funny. No. I don't think it's funny. Uh-huh. And you're a fool if you think it's funny. Uh-huh. Yes. Jab it whole. Yeah. And force my laugh at you. I'm laughing at you, but I'm praying for you at the same time. Yeah. What if the moment a statement left your lips, you became violently sick? Oh. Oh, you think twice about it then. Oh. Every time you said something ugly to somebody, you got sick. Yes. Wow. So I'm throwing up everywhere. I'm, I'm, I ain't talking that. I'm just being honest today. You spoke it. Mm-hmm. That's why I have it. Yes. One more example. I can't stand her. That's, that's number one. It's, what is it? I don't know what it is. Just something about her. I know it is the Holy Spirit about you. Can't stand. You don't have it. You don't want it. She got it and you mad. 
Be glad to get you some ghosts. Right. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Watch this. Why is the person just drop dead by the words came out of your mouth? Sister, bro, that makes you a murderer. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all ain't like what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you understand that God hears every hour word you speak, right. if you understand that there is power in the tongue, you, that may be the only power you got, that old tongue. That old power. Because those strong words hurt. Yes. I know I know I am. But you think every time I see you, hey, Charlie. <laughs> I'll take this so long. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. I'm just playing. My brother ain't called me Shorty. And I love it. I wish I could even call me Shorty again. Yeah. Lord help me today. But there's power in the tongue, church. Yes, it is. Because of God's law, there's power in the tongue. Everything you say or do will come back to you. Yeah. That's, right. That's God's law. That's right. It's the law of reading and so on. You will get whatever you plant. That's right. That's right. If you plant hatred, you receive hatred. If you plant strife, you receive strife. If you plant kindness, good God Almighty, you receive some kindness. That's right. The Holy Spirit will make you throw down your rocks and walk away from a fight. That's right. Yes, Lord. God will take up your fight for you, but only if you're right. Yes, Lord. Yes. Trying to today. God will take up your fight for you, but only if you are right. Yes. Don't expect God to defend you when you're wrong. No. It's just not going to happen. Yes, that's right. I'm trying to wrap it up, y'all. It ain't going to happen because it's not what God said. The Holy Spirit will guide you, but only if you listen. The Holy Spirit will lead you only if you follow. God's gift to us is a great teacher. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So use him wisely. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus hung away and died that we might live and have life more abundant. Mm -hmm. He left us with the great teacher, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The door of the church open. There'll be one today that will become himself Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He loved you so much, he's been waiting for you so long. Oh, I thank God for Jesus. And I thank God for you. There's room. For one, and that one could be, and should be you. Amen. God is so good. He is so sweet. He is so loving. He is so kind. And he left us a comfort. 